Alright guys, Time Lords is such a troll deck. Last night we played this on live stream. I'm just doing this for the replay because the video would be like five hours long. But anyways, this deck is so annoying. It's it's the troll player's dream over here. But anyways, I was playing the new Gladiator Beast. He's playing the Time Lords. And I'm like, okay, I don't really know what that Time Lords do. Other than like, you summon them, they go back in the deck. What's the big deal? But this deck stalls forever. And the ending of this is pretty swag because uh, I did not expect it. All right. But uh, anyways, he calls... Um, Fusions with the D barrier, and I still make my two level five gladiator beasts because I'm like, okay, he's gonna shuffle the monster back in the deck. I didn't, I didn't realize Medion was a thing. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen Time Lord, and this one is an older one, so I was like, what, what are the, the? Well, I was like, the new Time Lord bounces back the uh, spell and trap, it can bounce back the graveyard, but that's totally fine if I leave these two level fives on board because later on I can make the gladiator beast fusion, but it doesn't really matter, he attacks into me, I'm able to still summon my card, I'm still able to tag out, and go for uh, Darius to go for the um, best star. He makes a, uh, uh, a play where it's basically just a bunch of monsters that cannot be destroyed by battle, can't be destroyed by card effects, so um, I think Castell is a better card to make. Now, it didn't really matter because Soul Morning was going to be there and stop being uh, Castell anyways, but... This deck is is just the most annoying thing. So I was going through my deck and thinking like, what can I do to stop it? And the only option I have is Castell, but I only have one Castell, so I can't really do anything after he gets rid of my one Castell. But uh, anyways, he's running Kaiju's and the Time Lord, so he can bounce back some of the cards back to his own hand. And he does some small damage once in a while, and he's going to go attack yeah, with this one over here. So uh, pretty much they all have that same effect where um, they cannot be destroyed by battle, cannot uh, take any battle damage, and uh, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. And that's the problem that I have when I'm facing this deck, is because my deck does not have the option to just, you know, get rid of things. Like, if I was playing, like, uh, Modolches, it'd be real easy. But I go ahead and make Darius, and the problem is, is I have to wait for him to make a monster, and then I can go for my Castell, because this was the plan, and this is what we were uh, decided to live from. We're going to go for the cards, but then he, he Kaijus me. He goes ahead and summons the Star Destroying one, and I'm like, okay, I'll just warning that. I've got my Gamma Seal over here, so I can start hitting him directly. I'm like, oh, I'm winning, I'm winning. I, I think I got this, boys. We're totally fine. And then he summons the Sadion, and Sadion makes his life points become 4,000. And it, that's why I'm like, okay, I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, it's fine, though, because this card is going to still be shuffled back into the deck, and then I can attack him. But it, it's just the same thing over and over. Uh, unfortunately, he drew the Kaiju there. But I had the Mirror Force, the classic Yugi Trump card. But it's just, I, I, I think this card, or this deck, the, the Troll Time Lord deck, it, it's just, it's so annoying to fight. And you guys will understand when you face up against it, uh, when your deck doesn't have that many options to just target to bounce back. Because like I said, I only have one Castell, even if I made that one. Uh, he pranks me at the very end with the Blazing Mirror Force, but I don't like playing against this deck anymore. Like, it, it's really, really a strong deck against decks that don't target. Oh, Technically, I know Gladiator Beast run Mermel, which can technically target, but remember, the cards cannot be destroyed by card effects, so that wouldn't really even matter. And on top of that, pretty much all of them have the same effect. Now, he was playing a Cephalon also, uh, so after he would get rid of all of his monsters, technically some of them banish themselves. Uh, the Time Maiden does also banish itself. But um, I, I don't know really what the win condition of the deck is, other than to stall your point. I mean, heck, I almost decked out, but that's because I was playing Pot of Desires. But... Pretty much every single turn, there is one card that just gets thrown out, and I think his goal in his build was to force his opponent to overextend, and then just Blazing Mirror force them, uh, and on top of that, he's able to heal and do some small amount of burn damage uh, from some of the Time Lords. One of them is like, during their opponent's draw phase, they just take a thousand damage, but Time Lords are not a joke. I thought the de deck was a joke, and uh, I, I've, I've been proven wrong. The deck, it, it's, it's a troll deck at the end of the day, and that's the way I see it, but it's still a, a deck that can do work against decks that don't have the ability to uh, target to bounce back into the deck or something. But yeah, like I said, even if I made that one Castell, <laughs> if you summon another Time Lord, it's over for me. But yeah, really, really fun highlight. And everyone was really excited because you got I got wrecked by the Blazing Mirror Force <laughs> at the very end. Because I was gonna I was gonna finish him off, man. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, Blazing Mirror Force wrecked me. But there's a little highlight for you guys from the live stream. And uh, no one really was playing Time Lords. This is the first time I've seen a Time Lord deck and uh, it's, it's really not that bad. But hopefully you guys uh, are interested in um, not playing this deck against me, please. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.